They left with very few belongings to move across the world. For the first time tonight, you'll hear directly from the refugees staying at Fort McCoy. Rescue crews work to pull two people from the water after a sailboat capsizes on Lake Mendota. News 3 Now at 6 begins right now. Before we get to our top stories, another nice night for anyone looking to grill or head outside this evening. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti, your first warm forecast. Gary? Eric, I think we could have a whole list of things to do this evening. It is beautiful out here. The humidity is down and it's very comfortable. The visible cloud track shows very little cloud cover across the state. Uh, we'll see clear skies for tonight. Now, up to the north, there are some thunderstorms up in northern Minnesota. Uh, that's the next line of storms that will reach us sometime tomorrow afternoon. There's a threat for severe weather up to the north tonight, but I'm not looking for any severe weather tomorrow afternoon. Low temperatures this morning started out cool because of the dry air. Here in Madison, we dropped around 50. There were some upper 40s to our north and to our east, but temperatures right now are right around the 80 degree marks. So that's about a 30 degree temperature swing from early morning lows to where we are now. And when dry air that happens and you can see dew point temperatures are still around 50. But southerly winds tonight, it won't be quite as cool. Look for an overnight low temperature of about 59 degrees by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow will turn cloudy. There'll be some shower and thunderstorm chances mainly late morning into the afternoon hours with a high of 78. Hopefully it'll clear out in time for the high school football games tomorrow night. We have a great weekend in store. I'll have more on that in the forecast in a few minutes. All right, Gary, thank you. We do have some sad news to share out of Jefferson County tonight. Doctors believe COVID likely played a part in the sudden death of a 13-year-old boy in Fort Atkinson. Danny Rees died on Tuesday. His mother said he was congested and suddenly stopped breathing. He ended up testing positive for COVID. Doctors say the virus played a role in his death but was not the sole cause. Danny was in seventh grade at Fort Atkinson Middle School. Staff said they are extremely saddened by this death. They're offering support to students, fellow staff members, and the family. The rest of Danny's family has since tested positive for the virus. The funeral home will take care of his arrangements, covering the cost of the service, and a GoFundMe page has been started to help support his family during this difficult time. Well, here is proof that vaccines are important to keeping people safe. The state just shared this data this afternoon showing unvaccinated people are four times more likely to get COVID and 10 times more likely to die from the virus. More than half of the state's eligible population is completely vaccinated, but doctors want that number higher, especially since COVID activity is high throughout the state. Dane County is still a leader in the country when it comes to vaccines. Just this week, we became the first county in Wisconsin to have 70% of residents fully vaccinated. 70% of students at the UW at, on the UW Milwaukee campus are now fully vaccinated. That effort was set forth by the UW Systems 70 for 70 campaign. The goal is to get 70% of every UW campus statewide vaccinated. Vaccinated students are then eligible to win $7,000 scholarships. Madison West High School is canceling its next two football games due to COVID. West High has about 150 students and staff currently in quarantine. Madison West was supposed to play Middleton tomorrow and then Sun Prairie next week. Madison West 0-4 to start the season. Emergency departments in our area are seeing an increase in patients. SSM Health is seeing an all-time high, which is leading to really long wait times. This is true at all eight of its hospitals in southern Wisconsin, including St. Mary's here in Madison. And it's a mix of um, a surge in COVID patients that we're seeing right now with the Delta variant, combined with just all the bread and butter, run of the mill things that we would typically see. Doctors are asking people to stay up to date with preventative care visits to ease the strain on ER staff and use urgent care facilities when available. New information tonight concerning two homicide cases involving teenage suspects in our area. The first involving a 15 year old taken into custody last week at Beloit Memorial High School. Hours ago, Dante Wilson was formally charged in Rock County Court. We are naming Wilson tonight since he's been formally charged as an adult. Police found a gun on Wilson at the time of his arrest. He is accused of shooting and killing a 19 year old in Beloit. Court documents released just this afternoon indicate the teens knew each other. The shooting happened during a fight. And Kari Sanford, one of the teens accused of killing a Madison doctor and her husband, will remain in jail on a million dollar cash bond. The 19 year old had asked for a lower bond during a hearing today. His request was denied. Stanford is accused of shooting and killing Dr. Beth Potter and her husband Robin Kari. Their bodies were found last year by a jogger in the UW Arboretum. Stanford was dating the couple's daughter at the time of their death. 
threats. The other teen charged in this case is Elijah LaRue. He has since signed a plea deal in connection to the case. Sentencing for LaRue will likely be delayed until the outcome of Sanford's case. Sanford allegedly is the one who fired the shots leading to the couple's deaths. We have detailed stories going over things laid out in court documents in both of these cases. You can find them online. You can also read them by downloading our Channel 3000 News app, which is free in your phone's app store. Life jackets came in handy for two Madison boaters today. They were pulled from Lake Mendota after their sailboat capsized. Our Edgewater Skycam captured the rescue. The pair was sitting on top of the boat a few hundred yards from Memorial Union. Both were taken to the shore and another rescue boat was used to flip the sailboat over. Wisconsin's longest serving governor needs surgery after a water skiing accident. Tommy Thompson posted about this accident on Facebook today. He's currently the interim president for the University of Wisconsin system and the Board of Regents is searching for a permanent president to replace him. Second Harvest is raising money for yogurt. The food pantry's Let's Yo campaign runs all month long. Because it's perishable, yogurt typically is not donated, but staff say it's a really healthy option for families. Your $20 donation would provide a week's worth of yogurt to a family of four. Coming up, when you're feeding a family, a trip to the grocery store is really never cheap. But meat prices are on the rise, you've noticed, and we look into why that leg of lamb is costing you an arm and a leg. That's next on News Free Now at 6. Stanton Optical is always here for you with our safe telehealth technology. You can just walk in for an eye exam whenever you need one. And your eye exam is free when you buy two pair of glasses for as low as $59.95. Find your nearest store at stantonoptical.com or call 1-800-STANTON. Add the finishing touch to your home with exterior paint from Menards. Max Bond Exterior Paint and Primer in One delivers superior adhesion to dirty, chalky, and glossy surfaces. Get 11% off all Dutch Boy paints. Fill gaps and prevent air or water leaks in your doors and windows with DAP Alex Plus Caulk. It's great for both interior and exterior use. Get 11% off all DAP sealants now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. No one has ever reinvented mattress shopping until now. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. Start with a quick rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop the information and rating system on each bed. Did you know you can get great back support with a soft feel? It's true and easy to find. Mattress shopping, reinvented only at Slumberland Furniture. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Six months of AccuView Oasis contacts plus an eye exam. Only $125. Lowest price ever. Plus free trial lenses in store. Get the deal at Stanton Optical. Unbeatable prices without the drama. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Welcome back. Steaks, chops, bacon, brats, you name it. We certainly like our meat products in Wisconsin, but our favorite meals, many of you have noticed, are costing a lot more. And we wanted to know why. Anna Hansen spoke with several area suppliers today about surging meat prices. Paul Markhart can show you the largely empty freezers that he worries about not filling up. It's just uh, unprecedented, you know, this is territory we've never seen before. Markhart runs Harold Gabby Wholesale Meats in Verona. He says for the past two years, Wisconsin's meat sellers have seen prices increase by 50%. It's an industry where prices usually only fluctuate by about 15%. And Mark Hart blames a lack of workers. There's plenty of cattle in the United States to go around, but just nobody to process them. Others, like UW Provisions partner Ron Krantz, disagree. He thinks it's a lack of animals in meat plants driving prices up. This week alone, on cattle alone, there's probably 30... 30,000 cattle less than a year ago. That equates to 4,400,000 pounds. People are 
eating more meat. Overall, the labor shortage seems to be the common denominator. It isn't a new problem, but in the meat industry, it's a costly one, with some beef cuts priced up to 70% higher than they were two years ago. The stuff that's labor-intensive has gotten a lot more expensive to buy. It isn't just meat vendors. The farmers who raise livestock are feeling the sting, too. The farmers aren't seeing any of the gains on these prices. I know of uh, big growers that have had to sit on cattle for months because there just was no place to go with them at the time. With the cold weather holidays approaching, Mark Hart isn't banking on filling his freezers and warns you, the customer, will notice. I don't know what's going to be out there and I don't think anybody can honestly tell you what's going to be out there. In Madison, Anna Hansen, News 3 Now. So the biggest advice meat vendors are currently giving to uncertain buyers is to buy early and look out for deals. Next on News 3 Now at 6, there's a forest in Minnesota shaped exactly like Minnesota, where you can see this masterpiece made of pines. Rain is on the way again. Gary's talking how it could impact our Friday night football games. You want to stay tuned for that. Your full forecast coming your way next. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. The Burrish Group at UBS provides comprehensive wealth management focused on client service, financial results, and helping clients pursue their goals. Our multi-generational group of financial advisors allows us to relate to all of our clients. Every generation has priorities, and with our experience, we can find the fit that suits your cycle of life. Call us today to start the conversation. Selling new body style 2018 Chevy Equinoxes starting only $14,995 or $235 per month. That's right, Golden Cars is having a huge sale on 2018 Chevy Equinoxes, very well equipped, starting at $14,995 or $235 per month. So hurry today and just ask for my daughter, Crystal the Pistol Govin. For my dad, Don the Dealman Govin. Go to Golden Cars East or West with over 500 vehicles to choose from. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com. Here, success depends on the choices you make. But I know I've got this. And when it comes to controlling his type 2 diabetes, my dad's got this too. With the right choices, you have it in you to control your A1C. And once weekly Trulicity may help. Most people taking Trulicity reached an A1C under 7%. And it starts lowering blood sugar from the first dose by helping your body release the insulin it's already making. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Problems. Show your world what's truly inside. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. As many of them fled with only the clothes on their back. Well, winter will be here before we know it, and the Afghan refugees staying at Fort McCoy need our help. And there are no days off either for the people working to address their immediate needs. A change in season means a change in duties for those at the Armory in Sparta. Well, they're sorting through clothing tonight instead of restocking military supplies. Talil Mohadeen shows us the work that must be done. Talil. Response groups at Fort McCoy still need your help to make sure Afghan refugees temporarily calling Wisconsin home are ready for the winter. Team Rubicon's veteran volunteers are working seven days a week, eight hours a day to sort through thousands of donation items already at the base. Group representatives say while they're incredibly grateful for everything they've received so far, they're now looking for more targeted donations and we have this logistical juggling to do where we need to take things such as blankets, which we have plenty of blankets. We need to kind of move them aside and make room for shoes, which we don't have much of. 
What they do need is adult winter clothing, size medium and smaller, winter shoes for men sizes 7 to 9, women size 5 to 7, and all sizes for children. Team Rubicon representatives also say from what they can tell, refugees do at least have access to basic clothing. You can donate those winter items at any one of four Salvation Army locations across the state. The closest one to you is likely the location on Darbo Drive in Madison, but there are also locations in Milwaukee, Wausau, and La Crosse. Healthcare concerns are high in an exclusive report out of Fort McCoy tonight. One woman feels her medical fears were dismissed. She and others are sharing their thoughts with Naomi Coles. This is Nabila, an Afghanistan journalist. Did she lead? was her childhood dream. Truthfully, she'd rather be doing this, what I'm doing right now. Reporting outside of Fort McCoy instead of stuck inside, waiting. Of course, there was danger for her life. Female journalists have rapidly disappeared from the airwaves in Afghanistan after the Taliban takeover, with many, like Nabila, fleeing to the U.S. instead. As a woman, as herself, she was in danger. And now she is waiting at Fort McCoy to restart her life and career, alone with her mother in the United States. How many times will be stay? We're not identifying the interpreter, a friend of Nabila's. She told us several times she was comfortable with being identified. Her translating friend has the same question. I'm also a refugee, refugee and I wanted to know that one month, one, three weeks. More urgently, know. their concern is also health care, which both say is inadequate. This is the big concern of everyone. Their capacity is low. Uh, last night we had a meeting with the officials here. They said that uh, we are working on it, but they didn't give us exact uh, answer. That he says people were told to come back in two Two days for medicine. Nabila's mother, who was there during our interview, was diagnosed with a heart disease and high blood pressure in Afghanistan. She had a medical emergency on the packed evacuation flight from Afghanistan to Qatar, but she says the doctor here told her not to worry. We saw the medical documents. She was diagnosed with atypical chest pain and given Tylenol and ibuprofen. The, the doctor said to me that no problem with her heart. Your big con problem is yet that you have stress. You're concerning about the, everything. That's why you're facing such problems. This comes as a congressional delegation has launched an investigation into other mistreatment concerns. We asked Task Force McCoy about these issues. They said basic medicines are kept on site. Others are filled at local pharmacies and brought back in. 120 medical and administrative staff are serving the refugees' medical needs. And that after medical screenings, they are prioritizing acute and emergency care. Most of all, they say they're continually having forums for feedback from their guests. <inaudible> for Nabila, worrying about her brother back home, she'll continue waiting. I'm asking the, all the international organizations that they sh shouldn't stay silent about Afghanistan. At Fort McCoy for News 3 Now, I'm Naomi Coles. Nabila and Naomi exchanged several texts today. She also said they didn't have enough clothing. We have ways to help them and others on channel3000.com. Well, check it out. We've had more than 300 coats donated this year, and we want to collect 6,000 children-sized coats. Just take your new or gently used coats to any clinky cleaner location by October 9th. Summerfest wraps up this weekend in Milwaukee, but organizers are already planning ahead to next year's festival. Summerfest typically held earlier in the year, but the pandemic pushed it back. And next year it returns to its original June and July time frame, but it will again only run on the weekends. In past years, Summerfest ran for about two weeks straight, taking only a few days off around the 4th of July. For some, it takes hours to drive across Minnesota, but for others, it's just a five-minute walk, at least for one family about an hour north of Minneapolis. They have a Minnesota-shaped forest on their property. The design was there when they moved in. It was created by a relative who planted 2,500 trees on just over an acre of land. I feel proud about it. I'm happy about it. My brother is a retired pilot, so he's flown over and taken aerial pictures. So the Twin Cities... 
Minnesota itself is around 460 miles long. This version is around 260 feet. All right, let's go to Gary. We better not uh, have too much rain on those Friday night football games tomorrow, Gary. No, in fact, the very latest uh, computer model forecasts indicate that much of the rain may be a little bit earlier than what we were projecting. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Three things you need to know in the forecast. There will be some thunderstorms in the forecast, mainly during the afternoon hours, uh, but it may be more late morning into mid to late afternoon compared to what we were looking at earlier, which is afternoon into early evening. So maybe some good news there. Sunny skies, though, are in the forecast for both Saturday and Sunday. Very little in the way of cloud cover, and temperatures will warm up into the middle or upper 70s on Saturday, but middle 80s are expected for both Sunday and for Monday of next week, when the average high temperature is around uh, 70 degrees. Tonight, some thunderstorms up in northern Minnesota become severe uh, tornado watch in effect for uh, much of northeastern Minnesota. But this is the same line of storms that will reach us tomorrow. The first batch heading to the north and east, but the air across Wisconsin much drier. So we're not looking at uh, a solid line of storms. It'll probably be more scattered thunderstorms. Not everybody will see them. And the future track uh, uh, computer models show that the storms tonight up to our north and west bringing somewhere between about a half inch and an inch of rain locally. By the time those storms reach us, we're probably looking at about a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch in areas that do get a thunderstorm. And then as we look farther out in the future, the next batch of showers and storms arrives about Tuesday of next week. But even those will probably only bring somewhere around a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain and then after that uh, mainly dry conditions through the following weekend so over the next 10 days we're probably looking at about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain at a time of year where we normally should get about three quarters of an inch of rain so that doesn't help the drought situation we continue with moderate drought conditions from madison southward abnormally dry conditions just north of madison this area has shrunk a little bit especially the central part of the state is now in pretty good shape moisture wise but drought conditions continue for far southern wisconsin and then out to the west it's even worse northern portions of minnesota severe to extreme drought conditions. On weather track tonight, you can see how quickly these thunderstorms develop right along the cold front, but much of the country right now is precipitation free. And this is a very typical fall pattern as the, uh, we start to transition into the cooler uh, time frame. The upper level winds become more northwesterly and they don't bring as much moisture in, at least away from the uh, Gulf Coast or the East Coast where tropical weather still brings a fair amount of moisture. But right now there's that cold front to our north and west, divides warm air that we currently have to temperatures that are cooler behind it. So once that front comes through, we'll drop off. We'll see our temperatures drop off at night, but daytime high temperatures will probably be just as warm because of the sunshine. For tomorrow, look for skies become mostly cloudy, some scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the afternoon hours, high temperature at 78. And on future track, this begins early tomorrow morning. The very latest computer model forecast start to bring some showers to our north and west already by early morning. But notice by mid to late afternoon, most of those showers and storms heading off to the south and east. So we may just see cloud cover for tomorrow evening. And then after that, skies clear out and temperatures temperatures drop into the upper 40s behind that cold front on uh, early Saturday morning. But then Saturday afternoon, we're up to 77, 84 on Sunday. Temperatures stay warm through Monday and then some showers and thunderstorms about Tuesday. First day of fall, seasonal temperatures. That'll continue for the rest of next week. And coming up in sports, Monday night will be the return of Jamal Williams to Lambeau Field. Why Matt LaFleur says he knows the former Packer running back is going to be fired up to play. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Earn a 25-cent high v fuel saver for every $50 you spend. That's a 25-cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at high v is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Here's to the guy with the tree in his kitchen. You can't talk right now because his elderly neighbor needs help. Here's to the generator in the middle of the street with extension cords running to four different houses. Here's to the countless acts of kindness that helped the Midwest recover from one of the worst storms in recorded history. You've given a whole new meaning to the term silver lining. The worst brings out our best. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us too, which is why we offer everything to help you see better, and look better. A huge selection of designer frames.
convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical. You'll see. Right now, get 40% off frames with any lens purchase. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend. That's a 25 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at High V. Friday on News 3 Now this morning, we are kicking off Madison Restaurant Week. We'll share how you can watch and win a free voucher to put towards your meal. And Chris Reese is tracking the chance of storms before Friday night football. We'll see you from 4.30 to 7. Remember when Jamal Williams used to look like that, wearing the green and gold, bringing energy and dance moves to the field? Well, he's still doing that. It's just happening now with the Lions. The former Packer running back signed a two-year deal with Detroit in the offseason and said this week he feels like the ex-girlfriend in the whole situation. But he's rebounded nicely, gaining 110 total yards and scoring in his debut. I'm sure he will be fired up to come in here and play. Um, he's, he's a guy that I got a lot of respect for, a lot of love for. I, I think if you ask everybody in that locker room, Everybody respects him, um, but you know he's the opponent on Monday night, so there's not going to be a lot of love during the game. Like most football coaches, Brett St. Arnold has his practices scheduled down to the second, but at Mount Horror Barneveld, he makes sure to make time for the bigger picture. Each week, St. Arnold introduces his team to a theme, and it's one his Vikings take beyond their next opponent. <laughs> Mount Horror Barneveld football is built on hard work. We've never been that big school that has a bunch of big guys. This season, that work is paying off. In four weeks, the Vikings have four wins. That's two more than the last two years combined. You're on it. Get on it. Fun to win football games. Yeah, missed it. But thanks to Brett St. Arnold. Set. Firmly believe to this day, you learn more about life between between these white marks and he's on a, on a football field than anywhere else, truly do. It's more than football for this group. Well, we have a theme of the week every week, so it kind of helps us get our mindset right. A theme. Stick and burst. Good. That the team applies to their opponent and to life. We got the number one team in the D3, so we're trying to see if we're worthy enough to play with them and beat them. This week's theme? Worthy or unworthy. Worthy. Worthy or unworthy. Worthy. Bring it in here, let's go. Worthy or unworthy. Are you worthy for the challenge? Are you going to step up and accept the challenge or are you going to run away? We got to step up. All those challenges that they're going to face, all I really am trying to get them to do is have a leg up and be prepared for them so they're not blindsided by them. And be worthy and ready Good. for whatever hits them in life. There you go. Keep moving. To nominate your coach to be our next Coach of the Week, just head over to the sports page at channel3000.com. Click on the Coach of the Week banner and fill out that nomination form, or you can send me an email. Even you, Gary. <laughs> well, by this weekend, it won't feel much like football weather with temperatures in the uh, middle 80s, but start of fall next Wednesday and temperatures much more seasonal after that. Gary, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.